welcome back in this video we are going to create reducer using reduce toolkit so this is a function to define case reducers to handle actions it support two different types form of defining case reducers to handle actions and one is called builder callback notation and map object notation so it means that we have two types or two ways of what creating reducers in our application so let's go to the official documentation and then let's see how create reducer works so click on create reducer and as you can see um, first of all this is a traditional way of creating what um, reduces right you have your initial state and then your function and this function takes your initial state in your action and then you have your case study here all right so it says that this approach this approach works well but it's a bit what bulletproof right and error plan for instance it is easy to forget the default case yeah and happened to me too right so that's why create reducer comes into play so all what you need is what as look at this the implementation we have your action that we have already defined our action in the previous video and we have um the next will be your create reducer we, we require the create reducer package and then the function sorry and then you use this code called the builder way right so let's see how it is going to be done in your application all right so where is it there we go so like i said create slice combines both your action on the same file like that so you can separate them but this is how you do it all right so next is we are going to create what reducer so let's have a comment here and say reducer all right and as name implies or the first thing you need to do is bring in what create reducer from reader's toolkit and that's all what you need so one two ways let's use one way is called the builder using builder notation notation so here you create your variable your function so called counter slice as name implies because i'm handling what counter states counter slices is equal to what create reducer create reducer sorry this one all right so before that you need to have your initial state so let's have our initial state here const initial state is equal to my, my object with a value being zero like that so here this takes this function takes what um two argument one will be your initial state right your initial state and then next will be your function your cover function and this cover function it accepts one argument called builder i'm going to use this one to build to match against our reducers your action type so here this builder we are going to append all our actions into that and you can you can handle the state inside here so here we make use of builder dot add case right so in a traditional way we can make it a switch and then we can even forget the string the add case so here is called the add case in the traditional um redox it should be what switch right and your case so here add case and i'm going to add my what my action so i'm adding my case of action and the next one will be a callback function and this callback function has access to your all your states and the action that is coming in and that's all what you need and remember um for for readers to create we can mutate the state without affecting it because behind the scene it is using what ima right so let's go down and this this is a builder notation and let me show you where it says that we can mutate the state because it's using what ima all right so actually free time you can read there so here we can straight away mutate the state right so here we can what we can return we can return what our state right as that and then we can make changes to our state as we want 
all right so this is going to what return an object right so here let's make use of state on a state we have what dot value so dot dot value in my state and we can just meet it like this and that's all what we need right so the next thing is what we have to export this function right so let's add export here export const and inside our store let's require that so counter slices as that and then here instead of this object we can bring in our counter slice and that's all what we need so if you go back to our application let's refresh it and then let's open the dev extension too and this time around we have let me open it in the last screen for you to see my dev extension too all right good did you see that now we have inside our state we have what we have counter which being zero as a stand so it is all it's all what you need to be able to create what um your reduces an action and the map to your store all right so you may be doubting that inside our counter slice for this action so let's create one more action let's copy this one and this time around is what decrement like that and then sorry here let's change this one to decrement okay it has been changed so here we can add our case and handle the state here so the same process builder dot add case right and then we add our what our action and then our function to call and here we can mutate the state as what minus minus so we have decrease it decreasing it all right and then let's add one more action let me call this one let's say increase amount like that and then here will be what increase by amount all right so this is my action right so here i can add my state called builder dot add case and here it will be increment increase amount or increase by amount and my callback function and then so here for this action i'm going to receive i'm going to receive a payload right so i have access to action on my payload so here i can say on my state dot value it should be equal to action dot payload so i'll show you how we pass in payload to this so here if you call the function the callback the 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 action and then you pass in a value that value becomes a payload automatically right and your action types is this right so the next video we will go back to our main file and then call this action and trigger and make changes to our state